Dial and note dial harmony has been described as having music theory information equal to that of the first few chapters of a university music theory textbook without having to turn any pages. What we have here is a very valuable tool to assist you in any jamming or working musical environment you may encounter during your musical career, and it can get deep in a hurry. So as opposed to jumping into some of the deeper subjects of music theory right off the bat, I'm going to start this video out with a few of Dial and Note Dial Harmony's biggest attractions and information requests. 1. The Nashville Number System. 2. How to change keys in a hurry. 3. How to tell what key sheet music is in just by looking at the key signature. And number 4. How to create harmony immediately. Okay, the Nashville Number System scenario. The special guest star says to the band, it's a standard 12 bar in G, but add a 2 on the bridge, kick it off from the 5, hit the 4 on the way down into the 1, and watch me for the 2 on the bridge. Say what? And the place is packed wall to wall with rowdy music fans, and the management is starting to get real impatient, and the leader of the band is starting to get edged too. Things seem to be coming undone in a hurry. Now is not the time to stand there and blink with your mouth open, start to choke, and then ask, dude, what do you mean, man? Fear not. Whether you are on stage or in the studio, the Nashville number system seems to be the most popular term used to describe the major degrees of scale. The one is always the key the song is in, and is also known as the root or tonic. There are additional terms included in Dial and Note Dial Harmony that describe the exact same thing here. More about that a little later. So, use the Nashville Number System. Look on the Nashville Number System section of Dial and Note Dial Harmony and find the numbers in the progression of the song. One, two, four, five. In this scenario, the one is in the key of G. Now look at the G column of Dial and Note Dial Harmony and you will see that the five is the D chord the 4 is the C chord, and watch for the 2, which is the A chord, in the progression of this song. Problem solved. Aren't you glad you used the dial? Number 2. How to change keys in a hurry scenario. Using the same nightclub scenarios we did for the Nashville number system. So two sets later, another special guest star takes the stage and wants to sing the exact same song, but it has to be in the key of A. So this time, the 1 is the key of A. Now look at the A column in dial and note, dial harmony, and you'll see that the 5 is the E chord, the 4 is the D chord, and watch for the 2, which is the B chord, and then play them in the same progression in the song as before. Or, follow the color band around to the key of A, and play the same color bands in the same order. The 1 is red, the 2 is orange, the 4 is green, the five is light blue, and there you have it. Rock on. Okay, while we are on chord progressions, watch, listen, and look at the consonant chords of major scale, also known as natural chord quality section in dial and note dial harmony. In songwriting, the progression you are creating may sound better using minor chords on the two, three, and six degrees of scale, or maybe not, or maybe some of each. I really love the two major into the two minor into the five back into the one turnaround, but each song will call out for its own progression and which chord should be either major or minor. Just play it until it sounds right for the song. Problem solved. Aren't you glad you used the dial? Don't you wish everybody did? Number three, how to tell what key sheet music is in. Looking at the key signature on a page of sheet music, you'll notice either a bass or a treble clef symbol at the far left hand side of the stave. There will also be a time signature, 4424 or something else, and a number of flat or sharp symbols, or no flat or no sharp symbols at all. Now look at your dial and note dial harmony and start from the outer circle. Come in towards the center of the dial to the second and third circles. The second circle will have a large letter, which is the name of the chord, key, or note. The third circle will say the key of one sharp or three flats, etc. Now when you look at the sheet music again, and let's say it has three sharps, look at your dial, find where it says the key of three sharps, and you will see that the music is in the key of A. If it has two flats, Look at your dial and find out where it says the key of two flats and you'll see that the music is in the key of B flat. No flats or sharps in the key signature is always the key of C. 
Now, while we're on key signatures, each key signature shares both a major and a relative minor key. See the gray and dark blue color bands. So if you see a key signature with one sharp, the song could be in either the key of G major or E minor. Listen to the piece or look at the notes in the scale to tell which key it's in. See the minor degrees of scale section of your dial a note dial harmony for that. The relative minor is always the minor of the sixth degree of the major degrees of scale. Again, see the gray and dark blue color bands of dial a note dial harmony. Number four, how to lock into harmony immediately. To create harmony with instruments or voice, use the third, fifth, sixth, and or both the major and dominant sevenths. By the way, the dominant seventh is the major seventh flatted one half step of the major degrees of scale together with the one root or tonic in any combination to be played or sung at the same time. Notice the first circle on the outer edge of dial a note dial harmony. It will have three letters. Those are the three degrees of scale that make up that chord and also the name of the three keys to sing or play in at the same time for most basic harmonies. Example, for the third part harmony, play the one and the three notes together at the same time through the octave. This can be duplicated using any two of the above mentioned major degrees of scale. Create multiple part harmonies by using multiples of the above mentioned scale degrees at the same time. Example, the first, third, and fifth all together. Or try a four part harmony by using the one and three additional notes all at the same time. Experiment with it until it sounds right for the song. Dial a note dial harmony is an unsurpassed resource for creating harmony, both basic and multi-part. Oh, by the way, I mentioned earlier that there are additional sections uh, or terms used in dial a note dial harmony that describe the exact same thing as the Nashville number system and the major degrees of scale. The diatonic scale degrees, call them tonic, median, dominant, supertonic, etc. The solfa or solfaggio names of the notes, call them the do re mis are just two other ways of describing the same thing. They all describe the names of the notes in the major degrees of scale, but the Nashville number system seems to have taken over from the rest of them, in my world anyway. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the four biggest attractions and most requested bits of knowledge about dial and note dial harmony. Whether you're at home, studio, office, library, classroom, bar room, concert hall, stadium, or garage, there's something here for musicians of all vocal ranges, instruments played, skill levels, genre, or musical styles. Dial a note dial harmony consists of two circles eight inches across printed in everybody's favorite colors on 16 pound recycled card stock with an eyelet in the middle so the circles spin around to show you the answers to all the above and help take you on various musical journeys. UV plastic coated, barcoded for retail scanners made in the USA with a point of purchase counter displays for dealers. Songwriters, vocalists, guitarists, music teachers, bands, pianists, horn sections, recording professionals, students, managers, agents, choir directors, orchestras, backup singers, string ensembles, it's all here. Dial a note dial harmony is every note in western music at your fingertips. The ultimate resource to learn or review all aspects of creating harmony, chord construction, music theory. Dial a note dial harmony is for musicians of all vocal ranges, instruments played, skill levels, genre, and musical styles. Learn or review it a little at a time or all at once. Either way, it's all here. What dial a note dial harmony covers can impact the rest of your musical life. Enjoy your quest. Feel free to phone for further facts. To order dial a note dial harmony, telephone 702-878-4948 or go to www.ducksdeluxe.com. Dial a note dial harmony.